In this tutorial, I will show you how to make this face mask. Now this face mask is actually the thing that I've been asked the most to make. People are always asking me to make these for them for snowboarding and for like, you know, winter basically. People like to play in the snow and things like that in these masks and it basically just covers your face and it blocks it from the wind but it also keeps heat in and they're really comfortable and I like them a lot. I wear one when I board and my, my brothers do as well and a lot of their friends do and they're very cute and I love it. What you're going to need is a pair of scissors, thread, a sewing machine or needle, some sort of measuring device like a ruler and then you'll need fabric so I like to use two different colors of fabric on the outside of my mask and then a fuzzy fabric for the inside of my ski mask so that it's nice and soft against your face and so what I mean by that is you don't want something like this which is like really fuzzy and it has like pieces of strings coming out because things will get caught in it and it'll be really gross snow will get in it and it's just nasty and you don't want it on your face really and so something like really soft like a baby's blanket kind of thing would be much better for your face and so that's kind of what you want to get and you don't have to get something soft I mean you could just use regular fabric and be okay but the soft kind of makes it a little warmer and you know it just feels better and that is all you will need so the first thing we're going to want to do is cut our fabric so I started cutting my fabric with the soft fabric piece and this piece is going to go on the inside and it's going to go all the way around your head so you, you're going to need to make sure that it fits over your forehead. So what I did was I just kind of took it and wrapped it around my head like that and made sure I had enough space. And then you need to make sure you have like an inch or two extra so that you can sew and you have a little bit of leeway room. So I, once I've done that, and I cut 26 inches of fabric so yours should be somewhere close to that it might be a little smaller might be a little bigger but somewhere around 26 inches you're going to cut that and then you're going to cut two other pieces of fabric from your two other colors and so what I did was I basically folded this in half and because I cut 26 inches that would be 13 inches and so I cut 13 inches of this piece and 13 inches of this piece and if you're wondering how tall they are what I did was I basically kind of put the fabric against my face to my nose and let it droop down and you want it to be somewhere close to your chest around here and so I figured out how much that would be and then I gave myself a little wee leeway room and this is actually about 13 inches high, I think, so it's almost a complete square. Somewhere close to a complete square, I'm not sure. But that's how much I have, so it's 13 by, I might have done 14, I'm not sure, so somewhere around there. And then this is all based on your own profile, so if you're doing it for someone who's larger, then of course you're going to need to cut your fabric larger or someone smaller then it's going to be smaller. You're just going to have to kind of guess how much you're going to need. So the first thing we're going to sew together are the two outside pieces. We're going to be sewing the line that comes down the front of your face. So it would be like this and like this. So you need to make sure that the part that's wrapping around your head is not being sewn and the part that's going up and down across your face vertically is being sewn. 
and you're going to sew those two pieces together just like that, just a straight line down. Once you've sewn the two outside pieces together, it should look something like this. You shouldn't be able to see the stitches on the outside, so this will be the outside piece. And on the inside, it should look like this and have a flap like that. And how you achieve that is you would have just placed the two good sides of the fabric inward, like that, and then just sewn a line down just like that. Once you have this piece, we're going to take the fuzzy fabric and this fabric and we're going to sew them together. To do that, we're going to place the two good sides together. So the fuzzy side is going to go in and the part that doesn't have the flap that you can't see the stitching on, so use the flap. This side without it is going to go against the fuzzy side and you're going to just sew a line all the way down here. So you're basically sewing these two pieces together so that they open up just like that. And voila. Now your fabric should look something like this. You should have a long piece of soft fabric here and then the two outer pieces sewn together over here. And now if you wanted to put any sort of decoration on your mask, you're going to need to do that now. And so I've decided to put a tiny little pocket on my mask. And so I'm going to sew that on now so it'll be easier to do. And then once I'm done with that, I will move on to the next step. So to make our pocket, we're first going to need to cut out a piece of fabric like this and I have posted the dimensions for you so you can just look at those to figure out how big you need to make it or you can guess and make it your own size, however big or small you want to make it, it doesn't matter to me. And once you've done that, you're just going to fold the top down, take a pin and pin the top. Take the sides and fold them in, pin those, Once you've pinned those, you're going to pin up the sides down here, the bottom part. Kind of make them even and pin up both sides. When you pin up these, you need to make sure that these two parts are even and that this middle part is in the middle, actually. and that would be your pocket and I like this, I like how it looks and that's basically why we pinned it, we just wanted to see what it looked like and if that's how you wanted it and this is exactly how I want mine and so we're going to start this by sewing the top part here and now when sewing this we're going to sew the whole pocket just by itself and then once we've sewn the whole pocket 
Then we're going to sew it onto our ski mask. And why we do that is so one, we can get the shape, and so we'll get the shape first, and then once we have the shape, then we'll just put it on our ski mask. Otherwise, it would be extremely difficult. And if you actually want it to be a pocket, then you're not going to be sewing the top when you sew it to your ski mask. And so, I'm going to take out these pins, because this is how I want it. You know that. I'm going to leave this top pin in. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to sew across the top. I'm actually going to sew it twice because I like the double stitch on the top. I think it looks good. And so I'm going to do that. And then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. And I'm going to be using a blue thread because you're actually going to see the thread. So you might want to think about that before you start sewing. What color thread you want to use. And yeah. Alright, so I did my double stitch on the top of my pocket, just like so. And now I'm going to do a single stitch on each side of the pocket, just straight down both sides. So I sewed up the sides of my pocket, and it looks just like this, and I just did one stitch like that. And now I'm going to sew up the corners like that and just fold the piece over, sew down, fold the other piece over, sew, and make sure that the corners are the same and this tip is in the middle. And I finished my pocket. That's what it looks like. That's what it looks like on the back, and I think I did a pretty good job. So I sewed my little pocket on, and my fabric looks just like this. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold my piece of fabric in half. So the good side, the pretty sides, I guess, are in, so the part that's soft and the part that has my pocket is on the inside and what we're going to do is we're going to sew a line straight down here and so you need to make sure that you're sewing the two soft parts together and then the two outsides together as well and it will be just like that Alright, so after you sewed this line right here, your fabric should look something like this. And what we're going to do from here is we're going to turn half of this inside out. And so what I mean by that is the outside, so this is the soft part, and this is going to be inside. We're not going to turn that inside out. We're just going to turn this part inside out. Basically going to push it down over the soft part and when you see the soft part in there stop and just kind of push it down so that it looks like this so my soft part is in there right there and this is the outside of the face mask so everything on here is sewn except for this bottom part down here. You should be able to stick your hand through like that. And what we're going to do now is just sew a around this outer edge. And so you're just going to fold this stuff in, fold it in, and then just sew around. And then once you have finished that, your face mask will be done. So I hand sewed all the way around the bottom of my face mask. And so now it is officially done.
Thank you for watching this video. I hope you gave me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I try and put out at least one new video a week, and you can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter.